of us at IP Datatel want to welcome you to our training video for the hardwire and wireless BATs. The broadband alarm transceivers, commonly known as the BAT and WBAT, are compatible with Honeywell, DSC, and GE network alarm controls. The BAT transmits over the internet. Alarm notifications are made by text, email, and or computerized voice call. The BAT supports a full-featured virtual keypad that connects in just five seconds. In this video, we're now going to illustrate a typical installation of the hardwire and wireless BATs for DSC alarm controls. Installing the BAT or wireless BAT is very simple. Connections are made to the keypad bus of the alarm control. Connect the PC link from the control to the bat and your connection to the internet. Installation of the wireless bat should be made just outside of the alarm control. The wireless bat is connected to the control's keypad bus and PC link. The WBAT will connect wirelessly to the gateway that is located near the customer's broadband internet connection. The gateway installation is discussed in a separate video which demonstrates the pairing process that must be performed prior to the power-up of the wireless BAT. Connect the PC link from the control to the BAT and your connection to the internet. In this video, we will discuss three ways to program the BAT and WBAT. The first is the BAT or WBAT as a sole communicator. The second is the BAT or WBAT as primary with a backup digital dialer communicator. And the third is as a dual communicator, where the BAT or WBAT and digital dialer communicator transmit simultaneously. Here is the initial setup of how to program the BAT or WBAT and will serve as a sole communicator. Enter programming on the DSC panel. Go to section 015 and turn off 7 since there is no phone line. Section 167, enter 060. Section 301, enter DCAAF by entering star 311. All other characters should be F's. Section 310, enter the four to six digit account number. Section 350, enter 04 and 04. This programs a panel to send SIA. Section 351, enable one for alarm signals. Section 359, enable one for tamper signals. Section 367, enable one for opening and closing signals. Section 375, enable one for system maintenance signals. Section 376, enable one for system test signals. Section 380, enable one for all communications. Section 381, ensure five is on, six is normal, and three is off. Section 382, enable five for communication with the bat. 
Section 389, Enter 003. Here is how to make additional programming for the BAT or WBAT with a backup communicator. This is where the digital dialer communicator is secondary to the BAT or WBAT in the event the digital signal is not acknowledged. Enter programming on the DSC panel. If you are using the digital dialer, go to section 015 and turn on 7. Section 303, enter the central station receiver number. This makes it so the phone line will not be used unless the BAT fails in Section 301. Section 380, enable 1 and 5. Here is how to make additional programming for the BAT or WBAT and digital communicator to have dual reporting. Enter programming on the DSC panel. If you are using the digital dialer, go to section 015 and turn on 7. If using a GSM, make sure 7 is off. Section 302, enter the central station receiver number. This programming provides a transmission of both the BAT and digital dialer and or GSM. Section 350, if you are sending SIA to the BAT and you desire contact ID, and the secondary receiver. Enter 04, then 03. Section 351, enable 1 and 2 to send signals to the secondary communicator. Section 359, enable 1 and 2 to send tampers to the secondary communicator. Section 367, enable 1 and 2 to send open and close signals to the secondary communicator. Section 375, enable 1 and 2. Section 376, enable 1 and 2. Section 381, enable 5 and 6 for the secondary phone line. Section 382, enable 5 for the BAT transmission. The BAT and WBAT delivers alarm control compatibility, incredible speed retransmitting signals over the internet, alarm notifications, provides a full featured virtual keypad, and when using the wireless BAT, no internet connection wiring is necessary to the alarm control, saving you time on installations where wiring may be difficult to run. IP Data Tell helps you power your business with state-of-the-art technology where all of our products are built in the USA. Call us for expert advice for all of your alarm communications needs.